Concerning the object now known as the Buga Sphere, a mysterious flying sphere recovered in the town of Buga, Colombia. This will disturb you. You may not sleep tonight. The University of Georgia carbon dated resin trapped in the Buga Sphere's surface microfractures, the Buga Sphere sample, to 12,560 years, March 17, 2025, Buga, Colombia, 2:47 p.m. A metallic sphere shreds power lines and buries itself in a farmer's field. By all logic, the impact should have scarred it. Dents, cracks, anything. Instead, perfection. A seamless orb. No welds, no joints, just smooth, impossible metal. And etched across its skin. Symbols that make linguists step back. Not hieroglyphs, not cuneiform, not anything on record. For months, it lived under lights and microscopes while teams threw every instrument they had at it. X-rays mapped three concentric shells nested like Russian dolls. Between them, nine microspheres suspended as if gravity forgot them. At dead center, a chip, too small to extract, too alien to classify. Then, someone asked the only question that mattered. What if we stop thinking like humans? Let quantum AI try. Classical machines test one path at a time. Quantum machines live in superposition. They explore billions of possibilities at once and collapse into the answer. When researchers at MIT's Quantum Lab fed the engravings into their newest system, something no one was ready for happened. The glyphs weren't language. They were equations, and not just any equations. They matched the fundamental constants of nature. The fine structure constant that binds electrons to atoms the golden ratio that shows up in galaxies and seashells. The kind of blueprints you don't expect to find carved into a sphere that fell out of a cloudless Colombian sky. This isn't fiction. This is now. Quantum AI didn't merely pattern match. It exposed a truth that makes physicists shift in their seats. Whoever made this object understands reality at a layer we're only beginning to approach. What that code actually says may be the most important discovery in human history. Inside MIT, the breakthrough reportedly landed at 3 a.m. on a Tuesday. Weeks of dead ends, pattern recognition flatlined, neural nets trained on every ancient script returned nothing. Then the team chained IBM's Condor to Google's Sycamore Cloud. Let the lattice do what human intuition can't. Your laptop checks passwords one by one. A quantum processor becomes the entire password space at once. It's the difference between picking up every grain of sand versus becoming the beach and knowing instantly which grain is yours. They piped the sphere's glyphs in at midnight. Three hours later, the lattice lit up. Planck's constant to 15 decimals. Then a cascade of fee spirals, the golden ratio in hurricane eyes, in spiral arms, in DNA helices. Nature's favorite number, engraved in alien alloy. For 72 hours, the processors churned. Layer after layer resolved into constants, C, G, the values we hang reality on. Not approximations, exacts, more precise than our best instruments. Whoever authored this object doesn't just know our physics, they've surpassed it. And that was only layer one. Deeper glyphs refused to behave like numbers, they behaved like frequencies, resonance maps that froze the room because everyone had seen these waveforms before. LIGO measured them in 2015. Gravitational waves from colliding black holes. The sphere's etchings didn't just resemble them, they matched them. Identical signatures from events a billion light years away, encoded on a metal ball in Colombia. Layer 3 went stranger. Orbital resonances. The metronomic dance of Jupiter's moons. The ring gaps of Saturn held open by gravitational music. Even ratios from exoplanet systems discovered last year. One physicist called it a cosmic rosetta. Dr. Sarah Chen, Caltech, went further. If you wanted to store the operating system of space-time, this is how you'd do it. Not a message, not instructions, architecture. The mathematical scaffolding that lets reality exist at all. Compressed into a skin of symbols. We build machines that process information. This thing might be information. Pure math, made physical. Simulations chilled the lab. Model the three shells with those frequencies and the sphere stops acting like an object. 
It acts like a resonance amplifier, a tuning fork for the cosmos. Feed it the right note, and it sings back the bones of space. Before we tell you what happened when they actually excited it, subscribe, because what you're about to hear has never been public. Einstein said, God doesn't play dice. Maybe dice aren't needed when the rulebook is hard-coded. And maybe that's what we're holding. In simulation, those nested shells create a field, an electromagnetic bubble that bends light around the object. DARPA has chased metamaterial cloaks since 2018. MIT calls it photonic routing. The sphere's geometry looks decades ahead. Dr. Michael Torres, MIT Materials, ran 12 independent solvers. Same outcome. Light doesn't just bend, it spirals, generating interference patterns no known material can produce. The layering behaves like a photonic processor, computation done with light. Those nine microspheres? Not decorative. Each one sits at mathematically exact intervals. Golden ratio spacing. Fibonacci alignment. Drive the model with a frequency and the microspheres lock into standing waves, amplifying specific harmonics. A quantum tuning fork that remembers every note it has ever heard. You've seen those viral clips. Sanskrit chants making the sphere hum. Unverified but the physics says resonance could trigger macro vibrations if you hit the right modes. Receiver, transmitter, perhaps both. Caltech's most unsettling run fed the sphere its own encoded frequencies, the constants etched on its skin. The virtual device didn't just resonate. It produced a localized space-time distortion, microscopic, measurable, not supposed to happen with aluminum and thumb-sized beads, and yet, we're halfway in and only brushing the surface. The sphere might be a key, a tuner for reality, a data capsule that stores physics, not pictures. Some researchers now believe the symbols aren't merely equations, they're coordinates. The right question came from Dr. Lisa Park, Harvard Astrophysics, who stopped treating the glyphs like a written language and overlaid their geometry on deep sky maps. Andromeda, the Magellanic Clouds, ancient globulars, Three sequences snapped onto fast radio burst sources, FRB 20220319, 20210807, our loudest cosmic screams. One pattern mapped to a location with no catalogued object at all, black between Andromeda and Triangulum. The quantum model insists it isn't empty. We sent Voyager with a golden record, music, math, our address. What if this is their version? A probe that carries not just data but navigation, coordinates encoded in gravitational frequencies, galactic GPS, pulsars marked as cosmic clocks. Any civilization competent enough to build this would use them. Lead investigator Jose Velasquez said the quiet part out loud. We keep listening for radio. What if they send spheres? And if there's one, there are likely more. Whispers started in collector circles. Tokyo, July 2025. A private auction allegedly cataloged a second orb, smaller, eight inches across. Different glyphs, same impossible build. No one's gone public, but leaked photos show familiar sins against metallurgy. No seams, nested shells, eye-hurting engravings. If there are two, there are probably many. Someone placed them. Someone wanted them found. Imagine what's inside, not files, but fields. Not images, but instructions for energy. Dr. Chen again. The standard model leaks at the seams. Dark matter, dark energy, gravity's quantum face. These artifacts could hold the missing pieces. 10% of this tech changes everything. Energy pulled from vacuum fluctuation. Drives that bend space instead of burning fuel. Medical scanners reading probability waves before tissue fails. And then there's the weight anomaly, the part every grad student double checks because it makes no sense. Day one, 16 pounds. Day seven, 20 pounds. Day 14, 22 pounds. No added material, no chemical uptake, mass appearing from nowhere. One theory, coupling to zero point fields, literally drawing inertia from the quantum foam. If true, this isn't a message. It's a machine tapping the basement of reality. Let's strip it back to what's certain. 
March 17, 2025. Buga, Colombia. A metallic object drops into Juan Velasco's field. Power lines down. Within 30 feet, vegetation is dead, not burned, desiccated. The sphere measures 30 centimeters, approximately 12 inches. X-ray tomography, three labs, confirms three concentric aluminum shells, approximately 95% purity, with a 5% trace profile not matching standard alloys. Between shells, nine suspended microspheres, no supports, no magnets. At center, a chip, maybe silicon, maybe not, too embedded to extract. Mass drift measured on multiple scales, multiple days, no radiation, no known chemicals at the site. Linguists. Glyphs match no human alphabet. The Lasquez, 20 years of meteorites. I've never seen anything like this. Julia Mossbridge, UC San Diego, wants the Galileo project involved. Not to label it alien, but to do real science. NASA has requested samples. Three universities are jockeying for access. Meanwhile, the Colombian farmer swears the orb hummed when his daughter sang. 432 hertz. Anecdote, not evidence, but the resonance model makes it plausible. Think of finding a phone case with no phone, except the case bends light, generates fields, and gains weight by itself. That's where we are. So, where does this leave us? On the edge of the greatest discovery in history, or chasing a mirage? Inventory the stack. A seamless, metallic sphere with three impossible shells. Mass that increases over time without added matter. A 30-foot ring of dead vegetation by dehydration, not heat. Symbols no linguist can read, but quantum AI resolves into constants. Planck, alpha, phi. Deeper layers encoding gravitational waves, pulsar clocks, orbital resonances, coordinates. Simulations that make it a resonance amplifier, bending EM fields, storing gravitational signatures, nudging space-time. A second rumored orb in Japan. Either this is the most sophisticated hoax in human history, with precision constants beyond our best instruments and materials we can't reproduce, or we're holding evidence that we are not alone, and whoever sent this writes code in the grammar of the universe. Velasquez says it's not natural. Mossbridge wants every test we have. NASA wants samples and won't say why. Somewhere in Tokyo, a vault may hold another key. Is this a probe testing whether we're ready? Is it a data capsule? A gift to pull us forward? A beacon? A warning? Quantum AI gave us the what. Constants, waveforms, coordinates. It can't tell us the why. Why Earth? Why now? Why hide reality's source code in a 12-inch sphere? What do you think it is? Drop your theory. The comment that cracks this may not come from a lab. It may come from you. Thousands of minds beat a dozen in white coats. We are either witnessing the greatest discovery our species has ever made, or the most elaborate riddle anyone has ever built. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Because if the second sphere surfaces, and our sources say it will, you'll hear it here first. The universe just handed us a puzzle. The question isn't whether we can solve it. It's whether we're ready for the answer. Some doors, once opened, never close. And we just found the handle.